Hi everyone, Josh here. In today's lesson we'll be looking at the song Love Me Do by The Beatles. This is a great song and it's really only got three chords in it. I will also show you how to play the harmonica bit on the guitar as well. Don't forget if you like these videos and my channel click subscribe and also click the bell that way you will be notified when I upload a video. Also leave a like if you enjoy this video and leave a comment as well. Let's get to it. So let's delve into this. The very first chord is a standard G major chord. Okay, and I'm gonna show you the way I play it, but you may wanna play um, kind of a different uh, fingering for it. So the way I play it is I put my second finger on the second fret of the A string, and I'll put my third finger on the third fret of the low E string and then my little finger just tucks behind onto the third fret of the B string. You can play this G chord in many ways. I prefer it like this because the next chord is a C chord and your fingers don't really need to move that much. You can play a standard G major chord like this. So your first finger will be on the second fret A string, middle, third fret, low E, and then you've got the two fingers um, just here on the third fret of the B and the E string. You can also play that, but I think there's quite a lot of finger movement from there to there. Um, so I, I go like that. It's quite dependent on how strong your little finger is. So if your little finger is not quite strong enough, use this first position. Um, and then once it gets stronger, I'd, I'd recommend using that or even putting your little finger on the high E string. Um, it's wherever you're, you're kind of at at the moment. Okay, and I'll take you through the strumming pattern. So the strumming pattern is you kind of hit the low strings and then you hit the full chords. So it'll go one, two, one, two, one, two. So hopefully you can see my kind of right hand, I'm just hitting these maybe top three strings here. And then on the next strum down, it's the kind of higher strings. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so you can just play all the strings if you want to, um, to get it closer to the original record. It's the low ones and then the high strings. Um, but if, if you're just starting, it's a really easy, song so just play that all the strings at once so it'd sound and just play it four times so one two three four okay and then the next chord is a c chord okay so it'd be four that time as well if you're a little bit more uh, advanced then just kind of picking up the guitar then we'll play it kind of the same way as we did the G major in terms of hitting them low strings okay but there's a slight difference in the strumming pattern so C major chord if you don't know it's the your first finger on the first fret of the B string and then you put your second finger your middle finger on the second fret of the D string and then your third finger on the third fret of the A string. 
okay and then you strum from the a string downwards all strings so you'll get this open g and you also get the open e as well okay and then the difference in the strumming pattern is down down up up down 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 up up down pull it together with the g major one two one two down up up down one two one two down down up up down one two one two down down up up down okay so you do that g to c chord progression three times so on the third time through so g c g c g c but then rather than go back to the G, we're just going to hang on this G, okay? Love me do. Stick on the G. Okay, so on this final C, we're just going down on the low, down on the high, down on the low, down on the high, down on the low, down on the high, down, up, down, down. When it gets to someone to hold, it then changes to a D chord, and we play this in the same manner we've played the G and the C chord. We play it four times, so one, two, three, four, then we go to the C chord, play it exactly the same again, but just twice. One, two, and then we're going to go to the G. And when we move to the G, it'll be twice. Back to the D. One, two, three, four. So on the second time through, you go from the G to the C then finish on the G, uh, I just do three down strokes. And then kind of mute in between. And then it goes back into the main verse with Love Me Do. So let's play that second part of the progression from the D. Okay, and that is the whole song. So if you're a little bit more advanced and you want to learn the harmonica section, then I will now teach you how to play the harmonica, but on the guitar. Okay, so this comes in straight away on the song, uh, above the same chords, these G and C chords. So we're going to put our middle finger on the 13th fret. And then we're going to go down to the 12th fret on the high E string. So both of these on the high E string. And then we're going to put our little finger or your third finger over to the 15th fret on the B string. And then we're going to put our first finger on the 12th fret of the G string. Okay, so we got. And then we're going to play this same 12th fret G string twice. So three times in total. Okay, so you see that one, two, three. I do down, up, up, but you can kind of do down, up, down if you want. It's just, I think it sounds better, down, up, up. And then before I go back to the 13th fret, I, I kind of play a little quick um, 12th fret G. So you kind of hear that just quickly before I move, I, I do a little upstroke. Um, and then I'll go back to the 13th fret, but then we're going to play it three times. Okay, so it goes one, two, three, one, two, three. So then 13 and 12th fret notes, I do upstrokes for each of them and we play it three times. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Again to the 15th fret on the B string. And then the 12th fret on the G string. Okay, so we just put this together. And 
and again it's three times on the G. I'm almost playing everything with an upstroke except for maybe this 15th fret note. In fact I am playing everything with an upstroke um, which which is fine and it's, it's also um, really good to develop your kind of upstrokes as well as your downstrokes. So we'll put these two sections that we got together. Okay, and then once we got that little kind of quick note before going back to the 13th fret again, back to just single notes on the 13th and the 12th fret. And then the 12th fret. 15th fret again on the B string, then to the 12th fret on the G, okay. So we got the three notes there, and then it changes up slightly in that it got, it's got the three 12th fret Gs, one, two, three, and then we're going to go middle finger 13th fret and then 15th fret on the B string and then back to the 12th fret G string. Okay, so let's get up to that bit. And then we go back to the 12th fret G, down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. And then we go middle finger, 13th fret. And then 12th fret, B string. So if we just do this last section, this last little bit. So it's 13, 12, 15, 12, 12, 12, 13, 15, down, down, up, down, down, 13, 12. Okay, and then if we put the whole section together, it will sound like this. recommend you doing is I've kind of split that into three sections um, three times it kind of starts on that 13th note down here I'd recommend doing the first lot of notes for the first 13 and then once you've got that sorted then add on the second section so the second sections where the 13 and the 12 there's three of them okay and then the very last section where we go back to one here but then we go 13th fret B string, 15th fret B string, 12th. And that is Love Me Do. Um, not only do you play the guitar, you can also play the harmonica section on it. Really cool, really easy song to play uh, when you're just starting to learn the guitar. Uh, hope you enjoy learning this song and playing this song.